got a great guest on the line, <laughs> David Max from Husker Max. David, how are you, my brother? Good morning. David, this is AD Aaron Davis. It has been years since we've talked, bro. Well, I think it was uh, at the Colorado game at, at Colorado. <laughs> that It's been a long, long, long time. Time, my man. It's good to hear from you, man. Raph, I will let you go from here, but I definitely want to pick up some more questions. Thank you for joining the show. This again, to folks, this is David Max from Husker Max. Used to be Huskerpedia, now Husker mm. Max. Raph, go ahead, my man. Hey, David. I, I, the question I've had, and what wanted to get you on the show is, you told me that Husker Max is going on twenty-five years of existence. Mm. So twenty-five years yeah, we started, ago, we started what? In September of nineteen ninety-nine. Wow. What, what, what comes across or what, what makes you decide to start this? Because that was kind of the early infants infants in oh my goodness, it must be Friday. Right, like, infancy, in, infancy. Infancy, big fella. Slow down. <laughs> Slow down, Thank you. Infancy. There you go. I'm, I, yeah, I'm nervous talking to a legend here. But <laughs> what makes you decide to start that site? Well, I was I was actually doing some marketing for, for a software company and I was I was just put up a website for all of my individual passions. And one of them obviously was Husker football. And I was contacted by a group out of Texas where they had the, the, the fans group, like Husker fans, Sooner fans, mm -hmm. all, you know, so, so I became Husker fans. And then, um, I, I met this, this, uh, other partner. I was, <laughs> I was doing a website for a friend of mine, um, for, for cars. And, and I came across this site called Autopedia all the time. And, and, uh, so then he contacted me because I was stealing all of his links basically. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, and that's how Huskerpedia came about. And, you know, fast forward several years, uh, Huskerpedia was generating all the, in, all the, uh, income to keep the company afloat. And his way of saying, uh, when I said, we can't keep doing this, his way of thanking us was to steal the website from us. So, no. so we had to sue, or I had to sue, and it took about a year and a half uh, in Orange County Superior Court, and we won the lawsuit. Uh, actually, uh, Tom Osborne testified on my behalf by video deposition. And so did Mike. So, so that helped. And, and uh you know, we, we got a verdict. I, I collected enough money to pay my lawyer, but the main thing was we got the website back. And during that transition, uh, we still had the content because Joe Hudson still had it on his hard drive at home. And so we started Husker Max, which is my real last name. And um, we had the content, but he had the traffic. And so I said, well, what are we going to do? So the first thing I ever thought about was, it's the same time Nebraska was going into the Big Ten. So I started contacting all of these other Big Ten independent websites like uh, Hawkeye Nation and some of these others. And uh, <clears throat> and so I became friends with the guy that had Hawkeye Nation at the time, and he and I were crying in our beer about, you know, on December 31st, you know, the, the advertising rate's about a dollar for a 1,000 impressions, and on January 1st, it dropped to 10 cents. So. <laughs> We thought the only way we could we could compete with that is to aggregate a bunch of, of different independent sites together, which which we did. And so Husker Max um, uh, I met with NRG and and uh, we uh, decided, you know, to to uh do a co-marketing thing together, which, which is, which has been, uh, which has been a, a good thing for, for a lot of years. And so we just kind of came out of the ashes from, from having the thing stolen from us to where we are now. And, and now, you know, we're, we're actually keeping the income instead of putting it into a company that was going down the tubes. <laughs> Folks, in case you didn't know, if you go to huskermax.com, huskermax.com, that's where I get a lot of our history from because on every think it's Sunday that you guys do that, uh, David, on Sundays, they will drop uh, Husker history uh, on there. And so we really enjoy that. David, let me ask you this. Where are you from and how did you become a Husker fan? Well, I, I was born in Tilden. Mm -hmm. I grew up in uh, Page, Nebraska, up by O'Neill through eighth grade. Mm -hmm. 
And then uh, we moved to um, Ainsworth. So I went through um, freshman, sophomore, and half of my junior year uh, at Ainsworth. Made a lot of good friends there, still, still are. And then the middle of my uh, junior year, we moved to Shenandoah, Iowa. And I actually went to high school with Van Bronson. Mm. You know, so I was, a, I was a junior when he was a senior. I never saw him play football, mm-hmm. but he was also a great basketball player. Uh, he, this was before the three-point line, but he could shoot from three-point distance equally well with both hands. Mm. It, it, was, it was amazing. And so, you know, obviously everybody in Shenandoah uh, was asking me all about uh, <laughs> Nebraska football because, you know, most of them were Iowa fans. Right. And I converted a few. <laughs> Go ahead, Ralph. So about how many members do you guys have in Husker Max? Well, if, if you're talking about the bulletin board, there, there's probably about – between 600 to 800 active members, you know, we've had different members sign up over the years, you know, as far as the total registered on the board, just that many, but, you know, as far as traffic, um, you know, it depends on, you know, in season and out season, but we, we, we average probably about 5 million page views a month. Wow. That's a lot. That's a lot. <laughs> that is a lot. And if think about Dave, how you, like, like I said, I remember the, the, um, fetal stages when this thing all started and raft the infancy stages, if you would, as well. Thank uh, you. Thank when, you. <laughs> that's when that all started. <laughs> David, let me ask you this before we let you get rolling. Man, I want to ask you, what's your predictions on tomorrow and what's your thoughts on the change uh, of going uh, with Dana Holgerson uh, as being the OC, not just this year, but possibly next year as well. So I guess I mean, first, let me get your thoughts on the change and the time it happened and your prediction regarding tomorrow. Well, you know, I, I think the change was necessary. You know, uh, you know the, the the offense just has been struggling, you know, all season long. You know, the defense has kind of you know held it up and kept us kept us in games, but but the offense hasn't been able to follow through. So so I'm I'm excited about uh, you know obviously we're not going to change into an air raid offense overnight or anything or maybe not even in the in the near future. But um, I think you know we needed some fresh eyes in there, mm-hmm. you know? So, and, and I think you, know, you got to give rule credit for, for, uh, for doing this, you know, on, on both sides of the ball, you know? So, so that's, uh, I'll give him kudos for that. Mm-hmm. You know, as far as the game is concerned, you know, we've had a monkey on our back for USC since forever, you know, starting with, with the tie game back in 1970, which we should have won. And, and so I'm, I, I, I want to get the monkey off of our back. And yeah. I think it's going to be a close game. And, and uh, it's probably going to be decided by a touchdown one way or the other. And, you know, so if I had to pick a, a, a number prediction, I would say like, uh, you know, 24-17 Nebraska, if we get that many points. If not, it'd be hopefully 17-14. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Raph, you want to ask him one more before we let him go, man? Yep, I've got to ask you, what is your favorite game in Nebraska football history? It's got to be uh, <clears throat> the the Orange Bowl game, the, you know, the 94 Orange Bowl, mm-hmm. you know, when, when we, we beat Miami. Um, you know, the thing that's special about that particular game is um, – I, uh, you know, I flew out from California back to Nebraska and got my mother and my mother and I went to that game and, uh, we actually had three tickets and I left, uh, the third seat empty in memory of my father. Mm-hmm. So that's, that's my most memorable game was, was that game. <laughs> it's kind of funny because, you, know, you know, I can, I can say it. Uh, now, but, um, you know, Butch Hug, who used to, Butchie. who ran the uh, stadium for 30 yep. plus years, is my brother in law. Butch Hug is? And, nope. Yeah. And so, wow. so he, I, you know, I, I never put that out there on the board because I, I, and the other thing is, I never asked him any questions about anything athletic mm. department wise because, you know, I, I didn't want to go there. And, but he got mom and I a, um, ticket on the, on the team bus going to the stadium. 
So it was like two buses of players. There was a van with the Osborne family, and then our bus with all of the administrative staff and and that. And so I, I have pictures of that motorcade where they shut down the entire freeway for for, for our motorcade to go to the to go to uh, the Orange Bowl. Those were pretty sweet days. Do we awesome. have, remember, well, Dave? We and, have and the... after 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 the game, <laughs> you know, you, you if you if you were there. You know, the Miami side emptied out quickly, and the yes. Nebraska side stayed there for about 15, 20 minutes just soaking it in. Yeah. And and so we were late getting back to the bus, Mom and I, and Butch was pissed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not surprised but one bit. But I didn't care, you know. <laughs> we, were, we, were, we were back at the concession stand buying up extra programs and that kind of stuff. and, and uh, But uh, that was – and then we get back to the hotel, and and uh, I think it's the Sheraton Bell Harbor, and you know back then this is the pre cell phone almost, and so people were lining up at at the at the rack of pay phones on one floor, and you know they were popping champagne all over the place, and the radio stations were doing the interviews in the middle of the room, and the people at the hotel had no clue what was going to happen, and so. The following year, when we won again, uh, if you didn't have a key to the room, you couldn't get in the building. Mm -hmm. so, so they learned their lesson. Keep everybody out. Yep. <laughs> David, thank you so much for joining us, brother. We would definitely have to have you back on postseason, kind of get your postseason thoughts uh, as well. Uh, there's a, Obviously, there's a lot of things that go on. We hope postseason means a bowl game. So we'd love to discuss that as well. Brother, thank okay. you so much. Keep putting that information. Folks, go to HuskerMax.com. they got so much great information well, and, on there. And just, just, just keep one thing in mind. You know, Husker Max is also Joe Hudson because out of all of the – we have over 150,000 pages and links of content on that wow. site that have been built on a daily basis since 1995. Mm. Yeah, you know, and, and so uh, – Joe Hudson deserves a, a lion's share of the credit for that website. Big shout out to awesome. Joe. Absolutely. Folks, that is uh, David Max with Husker, huskermax.com. We appreciate you, brother. 